Hi everyone. Um, I had a request on my YouTube channel on how to use um, SoapCalc.net um, because when I did the um, video um, for soap making for beginners, um, I had taken a recipe that I had found in that book that I had and had reduced it down into, um, I think it was something like a say for example a five pound batch and I made it down into a two pound batch. So I was asked how exactly how I did that using soap calc um, and I figured it would be too difficult for me to explain um, and type it out so I decided to just do a quick video on how to calculate um, uh, a basic recipe that you want to do and um, how to change the size of a recipe that you may have already um, gotten from somewhere. So right now as you can see I'm on the Soap Calc website and um, uh, I'll just go over a few of the fields. So um, there is the sodium hydroxide and there's potassium hydroxide depending on what type of um, soap you're going to do. So in this case we're going to do bar soap versus um, liquid soap. Um, in step number two, if you look that it goes by steps, right? So in step number two, um, there's pounds, ounces, and grams, and that depends on what unit you prefer to work on. And um, for easier sake, I'll just do pounds. Then there is the third step, which is water. And this is where you get your um, water discount or your, um, so when you wanna make a, your bar to cure faster, you can adjust this amount in terms of water, in terms of percentage of oils, how much lye you want, or you can do it in terms of a ratio from water to lye ratio. Um, for now I'm just going to leave it as 38%. Um, the second part, or the fourth part rather, is um, the super fatting and the fragrance, and this helps you decide whether or not you want to super fat by how much and uh, how much fragrance you want to use per pound. So, for example, you can increase the super fatting amount or decrease it, and you can put how much uh, fragrance you want per pound. Then in step five, it is um, the salt qualities and fatty acid um, factors for bar, so how hard the bar will be, um, if how cleansing it will be, conditioning, and bubbly. And if you notice, um, as I highlight over one, um, it tells you in um, like the average amount uh, or ranges that you they suggest for a good bar and it goes all the way down in terms of um, the different acids right that are part of the oils sorry guys um, so then over here you would choose which oils you wanted to use in your recipe and they're all alphabetical order so you just go down and just pick whatever oil you want and as you pick one it will automatically place it over here in soap recipe okay which is um, part six so you can type in you can click on the oil say for example I'm going to do almond oil you double click it and it automatically comes over here you can either do how much percent you want of almond oil in your soap or you can click up here and you can put how much of a pound you want in your um, bar soap. So it's easier to do percentages when you're just kind of creating your recipe, I find, versus going in pounds because then you have to start going into fractions and yada yada yada. That gets difficult math. So anyway, um, if you notice here, there's a plus and a minus. So um, if you click the minus, it will remove it. And if you click the plus, it will add it back. Okay, so that's the basics of how to do it. So I'm just going to quickly make up a quick little recipe. Um, this isn't exactly going to be how much, or a particular recipe of mine, for example. So I'm going to be making a sodium hydroxide soap and keep it in pounds. And say, for example, I wanted to make a three pound batch. And maybe I want to reduce my water. Maybe I'll do a 33% water. Um, and a super fat, maybe I want to do a 10% super fat. And um, 
usually depending and this is where you check your manufacturer of your fragrance oil check what's the maximum you can use for your fragrance in terms of a soap a lotion or whatever the case may be um, and this is where you decide how much you'll place there so most places or most uh, fragrance oils that I've used is usually 5% maximum which equals to be 0 0.7 ounces per pound okay now down here I think I'm going to choose maybe almond oil um, I don't know maybe avocado oil castor oil cocoa butter coconut oil maybe those are a lot of oils I'm choosing here um, I'm going to go to the olive oil and shea butter no maybe not shea butter maybe we'll do sunflower oil if I can find it here that's a, an example you don't have to use as many oils you can put as many or as little as you want it's completely up to you now here I'm going to put in my percentage so maybe for sweet almond oil I want to do 5% avocado oil maybe I want to do 10% castor oil maybe I'll do 5 cocoa butter maybe I'll do 10 coconut oil maybe I'll do 18 uh, I don't know maybe I'll do 50 and maybe I'll do 12 I don't know if that adds to 100 I'm just putting in random numbers when you come down to here to number seven you're gonna click calculate recipe oh and it's telling me I have too much I have 10% too many oils so I'll click OK maybe I will reduce this olive oil down 40 calculate my recipe so when I calculate my recipe this uh, button now becomes active what I suggest that you do is click on multiple tabs and the reason why I do that is once you click on the view rest print recipe you might find that there's certain qualities about your um, soap that you don't like and you may want to go back and adjust it but Sorry guys, I'm tired. <laughs> it's getting late, it's 10.30 at night. Um, but you may want to look at the previous recipe to know where you want to adjust it. So by clicking on multiple tabs, it will just keep opening up different tabs so you can flip back and forth between your recipes. Okay, so then you click on um, Viewer Print. And here comes my recipe. So it tells me my total weight is um, going to be 3 pounds, because out. 33% water discount, 10% uh, super fat. Um, it tells me I have a 32 to 68 of saturated and unsaturated oils. Um, it tells me the iron dye number, the INS number, the uh, fragrance ratio, and how much fragrance I will add to my three pound batch. Um, it also tells me um, all my oils here. Um, that I've chosen, what percentages, and how much it would be in terms of pounds if I were to measure it, if I were to measure it in ounces, how much it would be, and if I were to measure it in grams, how much it would be. Down here, it gives me more information about my soap. It will tell me um, the hardness of the bar, how cleansing it is, how conditioning it is, how bubbly it is, how creamy, all these different uh, numbers here, as well as the different um, types of acids make up of the oils. Down here you're able to um, list any additives you want and you can write notes to yourself in this section if you want um, and then there's an option to print the recipe. You can also go ahead and title your soap. Um, so maybe I'll put test one almond oil for example and that would be my um, recipe. So that there you go is how you calculate a recipe that you want to design yourself and then maybe you and you felt oh well maybe the bar is not hard enough so maybe you want to go back and increase your coconut oil to 25% so which means you have to reduce somewhere so maybe you'll reduce this to 35 and maybe reduce the avocado to eight or something and calculate your recipe now because we clicked view or print recipe in multiple tabs when you click on here 
you're going to have a new tab. You'll still be able, this is a new recipe, but you'll still be able to go to the old one and see what your old recipe was. I have a harder bar, it's a little bit more cleansing, a little, a little more bubbly, and so on and so forth. And my iodine number is improving. Um, and my INS number is improving, which means it's quite possible I'm going to have a better soap with that particular measurement. But it's a trial by error. Um, I don't necessarily suggest doing a three pound batch the first time you do it. You might want to do like a one pound or um, if you're really confident enough, you can do maybe like a half pound batch to test um, your recipe. So that is how you um, use SoCalc to create your own recipe. I'm going to um, reset this and I'm going to quickly put in a recipe that I have here from a book. Now this is already um, designated out into different pounds but I'm just going to put in the max so I can show you um, how much, how to uh, adjust the recipe. Um, so what I would do is I would start by changing this from pounds to ounces, I think, to make my life easier. Um, I'm going to choose the oils in here. So this has almond oil. Oops, I didn't mean almond butter. Sorry, guys. Almond oil this recipe has. It has coconut oil. It has... olive oil oops oh I think I missed one coconut oil and I think it has shea butter and castor oil okay shea butter and then castor oil alright so now I have all the oils I'm going to change this to ounces and my sweet almond oil okay so that's 32 ounces they use here for the olive oil they use 40 ounces of almond oil the coconut oil they use also 40 ounces of coconut oil and the shea butter, they use 16 ounces, and the castor oil, uh, they have it in tablespoons quickly. I'm just going to go and convert that. I have a little converter on my phone, and it helps me to convert different measurements of all sorts. I had already did it, it was 4 ounces, I just couldn't remember what it was. So if I calculate the recipe, it's going to go back and tell me all the percentages that those numbers were. It's going to tell me that I have a total of 132 ounces. So now I only want a two pound batch. So I'm going to click up here and change that to pounds. And oh, it's not working for me now. There we go. Click on the ounces, which is what I forgot to do. Sorry, you gotta click uh, the percentage. You gotta go back and click on the percentage, change the actually. Let me go back so you see. So you go back, change this to percentage, change that from ounces to pounds, and then I want one pound, for example, to test this recipe. So then I come down and calculate. It has now converted everything into um, a one pound batch now. So then I go to view or print recipe, and if you see my total weight is one pound now. Um, and then it's gone back and it's told me how much I need in ounces to create one pound, or if you want to do it this way, you can do it in the... But that's how you change a recipe that you have that's a larger batch to a smaller batch or to a larger batch. And if you want to go larger... Uh, oops, sorry guys, I'm clicking on the wrong thing here. Um, if you want to go larger... You go back to your calculator and you change that from one pound now. Say I want to do a 15 pound batch, I can type in 15, calculate my recipe, and then 
view a print recipe and if I go to here it's now changed it to 15 pounds and it told me how much ounces I need of everything or how many pounds I need of everything. I hope that makes sense. I hope I answered your question. Um, contact me if you need a better explanation, but that's how you take a recipe um, and adjust it to your size or you create your own recipe using the oils that you want to use. Alright guys, happy soaping and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.